Hello, this is Max Williams with Robinson and Harris Real Estate, and today I'm in Henrico County. And we're going to take a look at a three bedroom, three full bath home. Uh, this home was built in 2008. It's a beautiful ranch style home, uh, very unusual, and I'll mention uh, here a little bit later exactly why it's so unusual. Uh, we are situated here at the end of a cul de sac, and we've got a nice wooded lot. Uh, you don't have any neighbors directly on either side, which is nice. You've got good privacy here in this location. Uh, the homes in this small subdivision are very, very well maintained, and uh, this is a nice, nice, peaceful location. Uh, I'd like to come into these homes and give you an idea of what's currently available in the marketplace for a number of reasons. Number one is it lets me get an idea of exactly what's available at any given time out here in the Central Virginia area. Secondly, Hopefully you find it helpful as well to not only see pictures, but to actually walk through, get an idea of floor plan, and uh, my reviews are completely objective. I don't represent the seller, so I can be completely objective on everything that I see, and I bring you the good, the bad, and the ugly on every property that I review. Okay, one of the things that we have here uh, in this home is an extensive amount of wood floors inside. Uh, you'll see that here momentarily, but I don't think I've been in any home that's had more wood as far as a percentage of the home than this one. Uh, they did wood everywhere with the exception of the master bathroom. So that's pretty unusual. Here in the rear we've got a nice wooded backyard. Probably could use a little bit of landscaping, but of course that's something that can be taken care of at any time. Okay, we're going to go on inside. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, feel free to give me a call. I maintain a list of homes that is updated in real time. So if I send you a home that meets your criteria, you know when I send it, it will be available. As soon as that home is marked as under contract, it will immediately be updated on your electronic list. So it makes shopping for a home very, very easy. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, as we come in, as I mentioned before, we have a nice wide open floor plan. Uh, if you do not like cookie cutter homes, you'll like this one. Here we've got a nice little window seat. There is storage there. You can simply put a little upholstered cushion there and make it a window seat. An extensive number of recessed lights in this home. And to the left here, they actually did a little media nook. We've got connections there for widescreen, and then on either side we have our surround sound. So that's your little media area in the home. As we go straight ahead, we have our dining area, of course our dining room lamp, and then our doors going out to the rear. We also have connections there for another television. So they thought about these things as they were laying this house out obviously. Let's go take a look at our secondary bedrooms. Uh, someone had a little anger management issue there and I don't know if you can see that but it is 84 degrees in this house and I am burning up. Okay we have our secondary bedroom on the rear corner of the house. Once again we've had the wood floors. Uh, we've got a Jack and Jill style bed bathroom. Uh, we've got our vanity there and then our small walk-in closet there. Somebody has removed the door, but I think you get the idea. As we step through the Jack and Jill, we've got our de-winterized throne there. Excuse me, winterized throne. Our linen closet and our tub shower enclosure uh, behind me. We step through again. We've got another vanity and then another walk-in closet as well. This is the front corner of the house and we've got a nice big window looking out to the front yard. Okay, let's go take a look at the kitchen. We've got a really nice large kitchen. Uh, they really spent some uh, good money here designing it and laying it out. We've got a nice bar here. Uh, you could probably get five or six bar stools there. Uh, whoever's sitting there can chat with the chef of the day as they prepare the meal. And nice 
solid surface countertops, double bowl sink, really nice fixtures there. Window, of course, to the backyard. These are 42 inch cabinets, nice detail on those maple cabinets. We've got a smooth top, a microwave, and a double wall oven. And of course, all of those convey. Here at the island, we've got plenty of additional storage. We have an electrical outlet there for small appliances that you may need on occasion. And then our bar area, and of course, what bar area is complete without a wine rack that's nice and convenient. Here we have our area that will enclose the refrigerator. And of course, we've got a connection there for your ice maker. Here is our pantry, good additional storage. Now to the utility area, a coat closet there. Our door going out to the backyard. The home does have a is wired for an alarm system and our laundry. We've got space here for washer dryer and they even put wood floors in the laundry room. How special is that? We killed a lot of trees putting this house together, didn't we? It shows beautifully. Okay, let's take a look at the other end of the house. It's nicely set up because you've got the secondary bedrooms on one side and then the master here completely on another. This is a full bath. We've got a nice vessel sink there, a black toilet. Don't see a lot of black toilets and our tub shower enclosure. One thing I notice is we have a tub here, but we do not have a tub in the master bedroom. A little unusual, but if somebody really, really needs to take a bath in the tub, they of course have one right outside the master. What master is complete without a fireplace? And we've got one right there for nice romantic winter nights. And this is just an absolutely massive master. I don't think I've been in many master bedrooms larger than this one. Okay, in our master bath, as I mentioned, we have tile on the floor. We also have a very, very large double vanity sink. And his and hers linen closet. We don't typically see that very often, but we've got one right here. And we've got another linen closet right here. That is just absolutely great for storage. If you're the type of person that runs out of time in the morning because somebody was hogging the shower, we've got a solution here at this house. We've got his and hers shower heads. So you can obviously kill two birds or clean two birds, I guess, with one shower. <laughs> Okay, here is our walk-in closet. This is hers, good size. And we have our instant water heater. This is a Renai tankless water heater. Very, very efficient. And there's your little controller there. Uh, so you do not have a traditional water heater. That's very, very efficient and can save you money in the long run. Here is his walk-in closet. It's actually a pretty good size here and that will do it for our master bath. Uh, as you can see, this house is excellent floor plan for somebody that doesn't want to do steps, but just needs more space than your typical rancher. If you have any questions about this or any other home that's on the market, feel free to give me a call. I hope you found this video helpful for you. If you have, please give me a call and let me know. Uh, like I said, I would love to send you free of charge, a list of homes as soon as they hit the market so you can be amongst the first to take a look. I showed a home yesterday. I found out it had three offers on it and unfortunately we were a little bit too late. But if you utilize my list, you'll see these homes as soon as they hit the market and can take advantage of the really good deals. Max Williams, 402-7788. Thanks so much and have a great day.